Welcome back architects to my new tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can model this complex roof in Revit. I mean maybe it seems pretty complex to a lot of you or maybe even impossible to be done but I'm just going to use two tools, very simple tools and uh, don't be afraid if you're a beginner because you're going to see how simply I'm going to create it. You know that I enjoy to do that. And I'm pretty sure that this technique can significantly help you to understand how Revit works and can help you to level up your modeling skills in Revit. So the first thing I'm going to do will be to understand ge this geometry. So let's take a look and let's determine the sizes. So first of all, as you can see, like this part here is has a square shape, let's say in a footprint. And I'm going to make this one to be, let's say, 10 by 10 meters uh, this one is also square so I'm gonna make it to be let's say you see it's smaller I'm gonna make it 8 by 8 meters and I'm gonna make this to be 2 meters uh, here we also have a square and they look those two look same to me so I'm gonna make it 8 by 8 meters while this square is smaller than this one and I'm gonna make this 6 by 6 meters and in this case it's very much important to create it correctly in a plan view and in Revit I'm gonna make it but I will firstly create new line style and I'm gonna add this ArchiTZ red color let's take detail line pick the line made and let's make it so what I said that I'm gonna start and make it let's say 10 by 10 meters and then let's go back to the picture so you see that we have some kind of offset here let's take a look let's make these lines so this line here goes like this then this way so I'm gonna make all those corridors 2 meters so let's take offset of 2 meters And then we have this 8 by 8 meters. Then 2 meters here. And then we have 8 meters from this part. And then below. So let's trim it. Let's clean our geometry. I'm going to clean it up this way. Split it like this so let's take a look on a picture okay I'm gonna fix it sorry it needs to look like this then what do we have is 8 meters from here actually this it, this one goes like this let me no sorry this one goes just take a look so we have two meters more here. And then we have two meters here. And six meters this way. Not this way, I'm going to mirror it. So this is how it should look like. So let's see if this seems correct. So yeah, to me this seems fine. And what do we have here is also this line as well as this one. So what I'm going to do, I can maybe create detail line here. So let's make three meters here and then I'm gonna go to the midpoint this is six meters so from this midpoint to here so this is going to be our axis of the roof and what we need to do next so once we create this axis it means that uh, we decided what is the direction actually we know what is the direction of the roof so how the roof is structured here so as I said, we have this direction and then you see that 
we have some kind of slope perpendicular to that direction. So I made, I made it too radical. So what we need to do is to create this kind of roof. So what I'm going to do will be to create a reference plane, which is perpendicular to our, to our axis. And to make it, you need to go to architecture and then here reference plane. So to start from somewhere, it's like this, then name it like Architeasy Roof. So what can I do is actually I can just move it from here, let's say to the end here. So to start from, from, from this point. And there is one more thing we need to do in this case. So I need to actually create uh, one section. And that section needs to be perpendicular to our, to our reference plane, actually parallel or perpendicular to our axis. So I made it, I can of course move it here, extend, make it to be wider. And when I go to our section, you see that we have nothing. We have cropped you. I cannot crop it, but there is nothing visible. So what can I do in this case? So first of all, I will just create one reference plane like this. You see, I will not name it. So when I go to section, we see that reference plane. And if I go back to the picture, you see that we have one more reference plane here. So I'm going to make uh, that one as well. And for that one, I will make the distance. So what I'm going to do, I will make that distance between that one and this one is 10 meters. But we are also continuing this way. So this is 10 meters. What I will do will be, I can maybe create one more here as well. So let's take this reference plane. Then let's create similar and let's take 10 meters. So let's make one left and right. And then when I go to section, we can see them. So now what I need to do is to go to architecture, roof, a roof by extrusion. And then I need to pick what is the reference plane from where I would like to make it. So that's why I made this uh, reference plane Architeasy roof. Let's click OK. I would like to place them on level two. Let's pick the roof type. I can go with this 300, for example. And what I'm going to do will be, let's say I'm going to make it to be two meters in a height. So something like this. Then let's go to here. So let's delete this line. Take the arc tool. So from here to here, and I'm going to tangent it to our, to our level two. Let's mirror this one. Let's go to 3D and now I will just confirm it. So you see how it look like. Let's go to, to our second level. We see our reference planes and I'm, I'm going to bring them down so I can go to level one because I didn't create any walls or so. So I can just go here and add level two so we can see our, our roof. And of course, we can select underline elements. And you see that I can maybe bring it to be like this. And of course, there is one part which is missing. So let's go back to section, select it, edit profile, and then just mirror it here. So we got it. You see how it looked like. And what we need to do next is to select our roof and then go to vertical opening. And I just need to create vertical openings. So I made it here and then I need to create a few more. So select roof, vertical. Not this one. Let's go actually to architecture, vertical opening, that select roof. And let's make a few more. So 
So here it comes, you see, it's quite simple. So what I need to do next is just to, let's say, create walls. So I can just take wall tool and then I can go here, put exterior, or in this case, I can just go take storefront. I will just add some kind of, let's say, offset. So it goes inside and let's make it to go inside like this. Let's go to 3D, select our curtain wall, go attach top base, select roof, delete this element. So you see, <laughs> that's that's how I got it. That's That was quite simple. And if you're serious about learning Revit, feel free to join our community of architects. It's free to join. We also have free Revit training there. And if you would like to level up your roof modeling skills in Revit, just take a look at our roof playlist.